Hello and welcome everyone to this short video on formula tool of all tricks. This tool helps you build expressions using the small function button that you see on the left hand side corner. The different formulas have been categorized under various headings. For example, conditional, string and test besides many others. Let's see some of them in action. First, I have taken the help of text input tool to capture some basic raw data. The first column belongs to sales team names and the next three column belongs to the sales that they have done collectively over the last three years. Now the first task I wish to do is insert a new column and that column should sum up all the three year sales for every row item. Let us see how is this task done. First, I go to preparation tab. Then I pick up the formula tool. I drag and drop so that this can be brought to the workflow canvas. Next, let me take some moments to help you familiarize with the area in the configuration panel. For example, I have this function button. I have this drop down where you can tell which column do you want to modify or whether you wish to add a new column. This is a preview area, which means if you wrote all the expressions correctly and ran the workflow, you would get a sample preview of the answer. Next, you will get the data type option, which will allow you to set the data type for the resulting column. If you wish to add more formulas, then you can click on this plus button. So with this, let's get started. First, I go to the drop down. I click on add a column. I'll give this new column a name such as GT, which means grand total. Next, I step inside the formula expressions area. I type in a third bracket open. The reason I do that is because it gives me the names of all the column headings. Now make sure the columns that you wish to add are numeric in terms of data type. If it's not, it's not going to add up. So let me choose year one sales plus Add another third bracket open, choose year two sales, another plus sign, another third bracket open and year three sales. The resulting value I might want to store as in 64. And let me hit the shortcut key control R to run the workflow. Now as it ran successfully, you will see the reaction. The first one being on the data preview panel. The second one in the results panel where the last column depicts the total of all the three columns combined. Now you may want to add a conditional statement that if the grand total exceeds one lakh, then it should be termed as high else low. To do this, I click on this plus button and then I choose add a new column and I'll give this name status. Now to get the conditional statement format, let me click on the FX button and go to conditional. In that there are many conditional statements, but I go for if then else and end if statement. So this gives me a generic format. Now I'm going to replace all these variables with my own expression. If third bracket open referring to the GT or grand total, is greater than one lakh. So one lakh is one tenth of a million. If the grand total is more than that, then it should be termed as high, which I'm putting under a pair of double quotes. Else it should be low. Now by default, I have kept the data type as string and I'm going to hit the shortcut key control R once again. If everything happens successfully, I should be able to see a last column getting generated called status which will mention high and low. So that was pretty easy. Let me add another expression to show you a quick trick. I click on the plus button. I add a new column and this one I'll just give a name test. Now I wish to have a new column with a constant value across it. For example, the word checked. So I put a double quote. I write the word checked correctly. And then I'm going to hit the shortcut key control R once again. So friends, you just saw a new column getting created where all the values are same. That is the word checked. So friends, when you are testing this on your screen, 
please feel free to click on this function button and explore other headings under which you'll find many other formula options. If you want to learn more about these functions, you might refer to Alteryx help link which I'm flashing on the screen. So hope you got a good idea about the formula tool. And remember, whatever functions you learn here can also be applied to other tools such as multi-row formula, multi-field formula, or even filter tool.